everybody. As it looks, it looks like I'm extremely busy tonight. I have three laptops running on my work desk. And that's the most I've ever had at a single given time on my desk. Well, in actual reality, the two on the right are actually ones in for service. The one on the left is actually my own personal system. Both of the two on the left are Inspiron 1525 Dell machines. And I'm going to be talking about these two machines in this video. When I got my Dell Inspiron 1525, it originally had a Pentium dual core 1.8 something gig CPU. And I replaced that with a Core 2 Duo out of a that came out of a Dell Latitude D630. And the CPU that's in this now, the Core 2, is a T9300, which runs at 2.5 gig. And the CPU in this machine is the factory install processor. It is the, this particular processor is the Pentium dual core T4200 at 2 gigs. So this is a 2 gigahertz processor, and the one on the left is a 2.5. And what I want to talk about is, it seems like this computer runs a lot hotter than the one on the left. Now I just cleaned this one out and the one beside it. I I dusted these out, I blew, I blew these out really good before I started working on to make sure all the dust was out of the cooling system. So the cooling systems breathe just fine. The thing I notice between this Dell and this Dell is this one has a newer BIOS revision. Over the main board, it had the BIOS version on this one is A16. Mine on the left is A11. One thing I notice right away is I can feel, if you feel the palm rest and the touchpad, everything feels pretty warm. On this one, yeah, it's a little warm, but not as warm. I'm going to pull up a monitor on this one just to show you the difference. Let's go and look at the temperatures on mine. This one, the THM, is, 32, is 36C, 37C. And the highest was 59C. That's when it was under load. And we look at the actual CPU temperatures. It's idling at around 30C, the lowest was 28C, and the highest was 56 degrees C on one of the cores. Now this is normal for a laptop for the CPU to get pretty hot like that. These CPUs are designed to take the heat better than let's say a desktop CPU, plus these CPUs don't put out as much heat. And hard drive temperatures, they're about the same on both machines. Now let's look at the temperatures on this one. The THM on this one is 47C. Highest was 62. This CPU idles at 42 degrees C. The lowest was 32, and that's why I cold started this machine. And this one here topped out at um, 55 and 56 on both the cores at max load. It's funny how this one says 47 on one core, 56 on the other. The only difference between the CPUs and these two is, like I say, they're different processors. But you would think the Core 2 would run hotter than the Pentium Dual Core. In the case with this machine, um, the CPU has actual thermal paste on it. This in here still has the factory stuff, which is not bad. It's not like it's not like the pink stuff you find on um, chipsets and desktops. It's a lot different than that. It does the job. But I notice on the um, exhaust on this one, when it runs, the air is much hotter. So I think the issue it, the issue that's going on here is with the newer BIOS revision, it seems like they have changed the fan algorithm where it waits till everything gets a little bit hotter to cut the fans on. And that's something I don't really like. I mean, yeah, not using the fan as much will save you a little bit of um, energy on your battery, but at the same time, I, I prefer things to stay cool. Because I noticed... Um, as I installed Windows 7 on this machine, it was getting pretty warm. And that's something I never noticed with my own machine. Another thing, another difference is this one here is on battery power. This one's plugged in. 
So that's one thing that kind of gets me. I know it's kind of a random YouTube video, but I figure I'd just mention it anyway because I know many of my subscribers just like my videos just just to watch them, just to see what's going on with me. But anyways, um, I'm gonna talk about a little something different, but I think I'll talk about that in a different video. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask.